everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part two of this haul um so uh, i have a video uh, which i'll link down below if you guys didn't check it out of the first part of this haul it's only going to be a total of two parts um in this one i am going to be showing you everything that i got from books a million uh, comic book store amazon and ebay and this is as well also everything that i got in december and january and just putting it all together to show you guys um this one might be a little bit longer because i believe it's more longer than the first one so uh grab a snack get a drink and let's go Okay, so the first jar I wanted to start off with is Books A Million. Um, I only got a total of three books from there. Uh, so the first one I got is A Perfect World, Volume 2 by Re Aruga, um, published by Kodansha. I, I went there and I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, I need to have it because I'm not going to lie, I did read the first volume of it already and then I instantly got hooked. So I was like, okay, let me get the second volume to it. And I'm really happy I am, and I am super enjoying this. Well, I'm really enjoying this series. So yes, Perfect World, volume two. Uh, the second volume, or the second book I got was Jujutsu Kaisen, volume one. Um, and it's published, uh, well, it is authored by Gegi Akutami, published by Wiz. I wanted to get this because you know this is the one of the it series out right now and I wanted to give it a try and read it um, I was like when I saw it I was like might as well pick it up because I believe this is out of stock like everywhere Amazon right stuff any other stores it is lit it is literally out of stock I think it's really funny though that um a lot of these newer series like it's so hard to find them like Jujutsu Kaisen is hard to find Chainsaw Man volume one is so hard to find I found it on Amazon for resale at like $50 I'm like you gotta be killing me this has not been out of print yet why are you charging this much um Spy Family has been pretty it's you can find it at some places but I know definitely out of stock at right stuff um, Amazon is easy uh, to get them. They're all in stock, except for volume two. That one was out of stock for a while, but I believe they did get them back. So, yeah. And then the last thing that I got from Books A Million was Ginkaku Picasso, volume one. And this is by Usamaru Furuya, uh, and it's published by Wiz. I got this on sale for $3.50. Um, I I saw it on sale and I was like, oh, might as well just go ahead and get it. I've known about this series for a very, 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 very long time. And I just thought, oh, might as well get it. Um, it's a total of, uh, oh, wow, I did not see this. <laughs> it's a total of three volumes. Um, so I can get the rest on Right Stuff. I think it's pretty cheap on there. So, yeah. I am happy to have this. And that is all that I got from Books A Million, really short for them. So next I am going to move on to everything that I got from the comic book store. Now I'm gonna go over everything I got from the comic book store. Um, it's a really cool store. They don't really have that much manga. It's an extremely small collection, but what they have is really interesting. Um, most of the series that they have is like out of print or certain or the version of that manga is out of print so i think it's really cool i really like to go there a lot to see what new things that they got so the first two i got was mars um i got volume 10 and 14. i can flip through 14 for people it's a explicit scene they're getting of 10. Um, it is by Fuyumi Sorio and it's published by Tokyo Pop. This is currently an out of print series, but you can, I believe, if you're interested in the series, you can read the first volume for free on Kodansha's website and then you have to pay for the rest um, digitally. So, yeah. 
Um, I've been contemplating on whether or not I should collect this series for probably like the last two to three years now. Um, the reason why I decided to collect it is because I actually watched the live action of the Taiwanese drama years ago. I freaking loved it. It's still one of my favorite Taiwanese dramas to this day. And I was like, oh, well, since this is the live action to the manga, I need to own the manga because I just really love the characters and the story that much. So now I'm starting to collect it. They only had these two volumes. Um, I would say Collecting Mars is kind of getting harder now. I would say a few months ago, um, it was easier to find volumes at a reasonable price, but now they're really hiking up the prices. So hopefully I will be able to complete the set as a total of uh, 15 volumes. So, oh no, not, well 15 and then a one shot called um, A Horse With No Name. So yes get this uh the next one that i got was angel by erika Suka, sukurazawa sorry it's published by tokyo pop so clearly this is an out of print series um all the manga that i got from there is out of print so um i decided to pick this up uh, it just looked interesting i believe there is a total of three books to this particular story um, so yeah, I decided to get it and hopefully I can find the rest. If not, I think I will live. So yeah, this is Angel. And then the next one I got was Kamakaito Jean, volume one through four. And this is by the legendary Arena. Tanimura. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen her shoujo titles. If um, they haven't seen it, they probably, well, I guess if they you haven't seen the anime or read the manga, you've seen the name of her titles. So yeah, I saw this. I was like, oh, wow, cool. I remember this. I watched a few episodes, I believe, when I was younger of the anime. And uh, when I saw it, I was like, oh, might as well just get it. They're in really, really good condition. Uh, they were only $5.95. So I was like, oh, not too bad at all. So unfortunately, they did not have the complete set. Uh, there's a total of seven volumes to it, but I will explain more about that later on in the video. Um, but yeah. I really like her art style. It's really cool and really pretty. Very, very girly. So I am excited to start reading the series. And I don't know, maybe I might get into um, some more of her series. Now, the last one or the last series that I got from the comic book store is, which this one I'm super excited about, it's Firefighter Daigo of Fire Company M. So this is definitely an out of print series. You can, um, I think you can, they have the digital copies on Wiz, not on Wiz, on Viz Media, so website, so you can purchase it on there. Um, and this is a story by Masahito Soda, and I ended up getting volumes one, 10 through 13, 15 through 18. So this is all the volumes that they had at the store. And I was like, well, I'm getting all of them. And I got them for a really good price. <laughs> Each of them were $3.95. A still. This is a still. This is a still for an out of print book. It really is. Because when I started looking um, for the rest of the volumes online, you know, they got kind of steep. Um, if they weren't the original price of what they were sold for they were charging probably like a dollar or two more and then if not 20 30 40 50 i think the last volume people i saw someone charging it for like 20 dollars so not 20 dollars sorry 90 dollars it's, it's crazy really 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 crazy so i am going to be on the hunt to get the rest of these volumes hopefully it's not too hard i I believe I found volumes 1 through 11 online for a pretty decent price. I'm 
believe I'm just gonna go ahead and get that. Um, I would have a duplicate of volume 7 and 11, but that's okay. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. So I went to the store and I saw it, but I didn't end up, I didn't get it at first because I wanted to do a little bit more research on it. I guess I could have done it at the store, but I didn't. Um, and I looked on Mal to see the rating of it and it had like a mid to high uh, seven rating. And when I went to the comics, it was pretty high. People was like, this is a really cool series, very enjoyable. Um, just, just basically shown in about firefighters. And I was like, oh wow, this seems really cool. I want to give it a try. So I went back to the store immediately and I decided to get everything that they had. I feel like they had more than this, but oh well. I hoped to find at least 14 and 19 and 20 at a reasonable price. So yeah, I'm super, I'm really, really happy to start reading this. Really stoked about it. And that is all that I got from the comic book store. Now I'm going to move on to everything that I got from Amazon. Now everything that I got from Amazon, the first one I'm going to start off with is Go With The Cloud North by Northwest by Aki Ire, um, volume four, and this is published by Vertical Comics. So if you saw my first video, I showed that I got volumes one through three from Right Stuff. So I actually read this. Uh, I read volumes one through um, three already, and I, um, was obsessed and i knew there was a total of four volumes out i was like well i just got to get it and read it and i'm really enjoying the series i don't know when volume five is coming out hopefully it'll be soon um i'm not in i'm not in a rush because like i say when people or when manga cuts like take a break or when it takes a long time for um a series to come out I'm not too upset because this gives me an opportunity to read um, other manga, uh, read other manga and purchase it. So, yeah, super excited about this. Uh, the next ones I got is Perfect World, <laughs> Volume Three and Four by uh, Re Aruga. I got these because. I read volume two once I got it from Books A Million and I was like, okay, I just need to get the rest that's available right now. And I did, and I've already read these as well. I am freaking loving the story. It is so sad, so sad, but just so good. It's really, really good. I'm really loving the story. I'm really loving the two characters. I'm loving their chemistry. It's really amazing. Man, it puts you in some pretty awkward situations. It's it really pulls at your heart. It really does. And I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving Perfect World. So yeah. Then the next one I got was Blue Giant. Uh, and this is the Anubis. It has volumes one and two in it. And it's by Shinichi Ishizuka. And it's published by Seven Seas. Um, I decided to get this because it is about a young man that uh, is... Well, has the interest of playing the tenor saxophone and he just wants to be the best jazz player in the world and i took interest in that i really thought the story was interesting mainly because i do appreciate jazz music i really love listening to it and i was like oh a manga about it really great so i wanted to pick it up hopefully i hope one day they do kids on the slope um they have an English version to that because I would definitely buy it. Most definitely buy it, but they don't. But hopefully they will. So yeah, this is Blue Giant. Then the next one I got is My Broken Mariko, and this is by Waka Hirako, and it's published by Yen Press. If you can see that, there we go. Um, this is a slave, it is a hardcover book. Um, I decided to pick this up because um, I just thought it was interesting and I read the reviews on Amazon and people said it was pretty good. So I decided to buy it and give it a try. Now this is a one shot. 
uh, series. I would say, I guess, trigger warning. It does talk about a lot of trauma. Um, I, I guess you could see one part <laughs> of it. Um, so I would say beware of that uh, mental, physical, sexual abuse, and you know about death and grieving. So it's a lot. It's a it's a heavy it's a heavy book. So I got this. Then the next one I got is So Eater Volume One. Um, in the perfect edition by Atsushi Okubo. I'm pretty sure a lot of people already know about this series right already. Um, I decided to uh, collect, well, I've been wanting to collect Soul Eater for a while now, and I'm glad I waited because of these perfect editions. They are beautiful. I really like the hardcover, and I really like the, I was gonna say the material, <laughs> but I really like the feel of the pages they feel really nice they feel like computer paper honestly but yeah i watched the anime a long time ago i really enjoyed it except for probably like the last two episodes and i feel like that's how everybody felt about how it ended um didn't end too well and so i was like okay well since people said the ending is a lot better in the manga i'm going to go ahead and read it I read it, it was better, and now I'm like, okay, I'm going to finally collect it, so. I am excited to start collecting these, and I'm really excited to start reading this as well. And then, the last book I got from Amazon is Paradise Kiss by Ai, Ai Yaza. Yazawa. I don't know why it took me so long to say that. <laughs> but Paradise Kiss, this is the 20th anniversary edition. Um, it's published by Vernacle Comics. And this book is huge. This is so big. <laughs> I. It's just so big. Look at this. This is huge. This is bigger than my Battle Royale Ultimate Edition. This is huge. Um, I decided to get this because um, it was on sale. The original price for this is $30. And I ended up getting for $18 or $19 off um, $19 or $18 off on Amazon. And so I was like, okay, might as well get it. I've heard of this series. I've known of this series for so long. I've known of this market cup for a long time as well. I've had many people who were huge fans of her other series, Nana. So. I know about her, <laughs> know about her. Um, I believe I've seen clips of the anime, of this anime, Paradise Kiss, and then a few clips of the live action movie. So I was like, might as well go ahead, get the manga and give it a go. It feels really nice opening it. I, I'm not, I don't feel nervous about the spine getting damaged or like really creased. I mean, I would, I would think I'll be concerned, or anybody would be concerned about on how huge this is. I'm telling you, this is like, this is a huge, it's a huge book. It's really big. And so that is all that I got from Amazon. And so the last bit is going to be all the manga that I got off of eBay. So let's go. Okay. No. I actually lied. I actually got two more books off of Amazon. I totally forgot about them. I put them somewhere else and so that's why it wasn't in my Amazon pile. Um, the first one, I, well, <laughs> the other one that I got is Spy Family Volume 1 by Tatsuya Indo. Um, I wanted to get this because um, people have been saying really amazing things about it. And so, um, I would say it's pretty hyped right now. I did go ahead and read the first three chapters for free on Wiz's um, app. Why do I keep saying Wiz? Wiz's Shonen Jump. On the Shonen Jump app, I decided to read the first three chapters for free. And I was like, oh, wow, this is really cool. I really like the story. It's really fun and playful. And I'm really enjoying the characters, especially Anya. She's so cute. So I was like, okay, well, I am going to go ahead and get the first volume. 
so i have it this one wasn't as hard as others um like i said volume two was out of stock on amazon for a while but it is now in stock and i am actually gonna go purchase this purchase it um after i'm done recording look at them so cute so 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 cute um yeah i'm actually gonna buy volumes two through four after this so i'm super excited to get them and read them then the last the last one trust me believe me this is the last one from amazon um is a sign of affection and this is by su morishita volume one and it's published by kodansha comics so the way i found out about the story was um all the series is i was going through right stuff's website and i was looking at the upcoming manga that's going to be released and i saw this and i read the premise i was like huh this seems interesting so I, I decided to read a few chapters online i think i read like six chapters online and i was like oh my goodness this is so stinking cute i got to own this so uh, once this came into stock i or once it was yeah once it came into stock i was like oh my goodness i'm getting it and i have it unfortunately i've already read these chapters online but it was really nice rereading this i actually did read this one so yes i'm super super happy with this series i can't wait for the rest to come out i think volume two is coming out i was about to say tomorrow and then i was about to say next year but actually it's coming out next month i believe so i'm so stoked for that and this is from the same creator of short cake cake so yeah now that is all that i got from amazon now we are truly going to move on to all the manga that i got from ebay so now let's go okay so now this is all the manga that i got from ebay it is a lot so bear with me the first one that i got or the first one i'm going to show you is antique bakery <laughs> um so i ended up getting a volume one through four and um, that is the complete set of the series this is an out of print series but you can find volumes two and volume three on right stuff you, it's probably going to be a little bit harder finding um, volume one and volume four. So, yeah. Um, and it is by Fumi Yoshi, Yoshinaga. Uh, she's very well known for a lot of her BL titles. And this was published by DMP, Digital Manga Publishing, at the time. So, yeah. I decided to get Antique Bakery because I really love the series so how i first started off with antique bakery is by watching antique the korean movie i didn't know the premise of it all i know all i knew was there was a few um actors that i really loved and i wanted to watch it because they were in it and i watched it and i fell in love with it and then doing more research i found out it was um an adaption of the manga so and then also there was an anime to it as well. And so I decided to uh, watch the anime. I freaking love the anime a lot. I love the opening and ending by Chemistry. Life goes on. <laughs> love it. Um, and I really enjoyed it. And I thought for me to complete it, I must get Antique Bakery, the manga. I actually need to own Antique and Antique Bakery, the anime. Um, there is uh, also a Japanese drama as well. Oh, this was hilarious. I read the first volume already. <laughs> this part was really funny. Um, but I, there is a Japanese drama out there of the series. I was looking into it a long time ago, but people were saying it's not the same or it's not as good as the you know manga or anime it doesn't really do a great job of adapting it so just go ahead and watch the korean movie and it's, so i was like okay i'll just x out the japanese drama i don't need to watch it um so yeah i wanted to get it and read it and I, like i said i did read the first volume already and it was really funny i'm loving the characters all over again it's a really nice series really really nice 
And I love how like the desserts and the dishes are very like detailed and like everybody else, like the character designs, they are quite simple. But yeah, Antique Bakery, I'm so happy to own this. Then the next one I got, which one am I gonna show you guys? I'll do this one. Is House of Five Leaves, and it is by Natsum Natsume Ono. Um, I got the complete set of it, which has a total of eight volumes. This is not an out of print series. You can actually get this on the right stuff currently. Um, I wish I would have gotten it um, from Right Stuff to support the uh, manga club, but I will be getting the rest of her things um, that way. Um, so I decided to get this because I'm trying to get more into her work. I am interested in her. Um, I do have uh, Reservante on DVD. I probably butchered that so badly. I'm sorry. Um, I have that on DVD. And um, I have another manga of hers. It's an anthology of, of all her short stories. Or not all of them, but a few of her short stories. So, And so I was like, okay, well, I want to start off with House of Five Leaves because I did watch that anime when it came out. I only watched a few episodes. And so I thought, okay, let me get the manga. Let me read it and now I'm going to watch the anime. I probably will try to own the anime as well. So, yeah. And they came in like, they came in an amazing condition. Like, it seems like the person that owned it did not read, did not like even crack it open. They're in pristine condition. Really, really are. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard, or, or if you know about Nasume Ono, you, I'm pretty sure you've heard of House of Five Leaves. If not, she's the one that did the uh, Restaurante Paradiso. Uh, she also did Aka 13, so. Yeah. I'm really happy to own it. And I really love, um, I really love um, Sig editions. They're so nice. They really are nice. Uh, the next one I am going to show you is Kamikaze, Kamikaze Kaito Jean. Um, I'm showing it to you again. Um, I said I was going to explain it later on in the video. So I wanted to get the rest of the volumes, which was five through seven, uh, to complete the series. And I saw them individually and I was like, okay, well, okay, they're, that's fine. I'm paying like what, maybe like 10, 11, $12 for a really good edition of it. Okay, that's fine. And then I saw a seller on eBay that was selling all of these for about, I think I paid like 30 or 40 bucks for it. So I was like, oh wow, this is such a steal. It would probably have amounted the same if I would have got five through seven individually. So I was like, okay, let me just get the whole set again. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the duplicate or if I'm going to sell them. I will see. And I will see and figure out what I want to do with them. But yeah, now I have the complete set of it, which I'm really happy about. And they're not in too bad condition at all. I would say the ones at the comic book store is probably a little bit better, but these are not bad at all to me. So yeah, the complete set, the complete set. <laughs> and now the last bit of manga that I am going to show you is, I don't think this is gonna fit on the screen, so let me break it up into you. is La Coda de Oro and this is by Yuki Kure and it is published by Viz Media. Um, I decided to get volumes 1 through 12 of this. This is not the complete series. There's a total of 17 volumes to this. Um, this series is also out of print. 
Uh, the reason why I got this is because this is a series that I actually used to own when I was younger. And <laughs> it's the same amount I used to own volumes 1 through 12. Um, so I didn't give a backstory of the manga that I had. I had a little collection when I was younger. I did have these, but I ended up losing them in a move. And so I just started to collect again. I would probably say these last five years, um, but I wasn't too serious about it like I am now. Now I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I need to up up my game on, <laughs> on collecting. Um, so yeah, I'm really, happy to own this i am excited to read this it's going to bring back so many memories i am going to be scrolling like a little girl ah i really 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 am <laughs> um this is a shoujo title if i have not said that already and it is about music so yeah ah i'm like i'm so happy to own this really really am I will be getting the rest pretty soon. Some volumes are a little bit pricey. Like I think one of them they were charging like $30 for and I'm like, come on, why? I know it's out of print, but we don't have to be outrageous with the prices. At least charge it $10 maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so, I'm so happy. It, it brings a lot of great memories. I used to own this series. I used to own a few volumes of Karnogo. I owned the first, owned the first volume of Bleach. What else did I own? I owned Girl Got Game. I owned some Kingdom Heart ones. What else did I own? I own a few other titles. I just can't remember right now. But yeah. Ah, look at it. Yeah, this is what it looks like. The art really uh, does change when you get into the later volumes. I still think this art style is nice, but it gets nicer. <laughs> it does get nicer. So yeah, La Coda de Oro. And that is all of the manga that I got from or for December and January. I hope this wasn't too long for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, it was a lot more volumes than my first video. Um, so yeah, I want to thank you guys for tuning in and to and for watching the second part. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. Um, if you heard of these titles before, if you watched them or even read them, let me know. Um, I do want to get feedback on for you guys what you liked and what you didn't like. And then also what you would like to see from this channel. I'm thinking about obviously doing more hauls. And then also I want to do like a reading log of what I read. I think that is probably going to be one of my next videos, what I read in December and January, which is a lot of manga. So yeah, just let me know. Uh, let's have a conversation in the comments. I will really appreciate that. So yeah, thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.